tag was created by the lovely Miss Ariel Bissett. Her video will be linked below. If you're unfamiliar with this tag, it's just a really fun way to rant about the books you strongly dislike. So scenario number one, you're in the bookstore, and all of a sudden they're like, zombie apocalypse, holy sh**. Bunker down, huddle in the bookstore, and you're like, <sighs> and all of a sudden the zombies are like attacking, <sighs> and the military makes this announcement as the zombies are attacking. The only way to kill these zombies is to hit them on the head with an overhyped book. What book are you gonna run and get to smack down that zombie? I know which one I'm going to get. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I still don't get it. I still, I don't get it. They're making a movie now. See, I have my like hate notes right here. Flunkin' flamping. If you need more of an explanation, go ahead and watch my Maze Runner book talk. Cause I'll break it, I'll break it all down. I'm just breaking it down. Okay, next. So you're at the hair salon, right? And you're getting your hair done. In your hair dead. Oh my god, you're so excited. I just like paid $50 for this new haircut. And you look outside, rain just flying down from the heavens. What sequel in a series do you choose to sacrifice as your umbrella? What book will you drown so your hair survives? I actually have two for this one. I don't have crossed in real life, but crossed? <laughs> iPad and sacrificing that baby would mean sacrificing every book on there. That's about 50 books and I don't want to kill my eye. That's expensive. But no worries. I have beautiful darkness to fill that gap. This book. This is one of those series that I didn't realize I was so frustrated with it until it hit me after Beautiful Chaos. A lot of you like this series and I just, it's another thing that I don't get. I don't get it. It's okay. But then as we go on, it gets more and more not okay with me. More and more convoluted, unexplained, unforeshadowed, and this one's the worst. The books are already way too long. They could be half the size that they are. This one just drags on and on and on. <sighs> Again, this is just a fun way to rant about books I strongly dislike. That doesn't mean that they're terrible books. It doesn't mean that you have to strongly dislike them. I don't want to offend you. Just sharing my feels. Next! So you're sitting and in your English class. The teacher is just droning on and on about this classic. This classic revolutionized literature. This classic! Oh! And you're like, oh, <laughs> he hated this book. He hated it so much. What classic is he talking about? The Catcher in the Rye. And it's just this classic that everyone worships. I just could not stand reading Catcher in the Rye. Holden Caulfield, that whiny little bitch. I've never been so irritated by any main character. Usually in, in, in books that I read that I'm irritated by the main lead character, I got other characters I like. I can look to other characters and be amused and tolerate that bitch who's telling the story. But, <gasps> Holden. Oh my God, it's phony, it's phony, it's phony. If I saw Holden Caulfield, I'd punch him in the gut. You! Sorry. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. I'm fine. I'm okay. He's not here, so it's gonna be okay. When people read Catcher in the Ride, and then they pretend, I, I mean, maybe they're not pretending, but I can't help but think, like, are you pretending? Or do you actually, why do you like it? Is it because of the meaning? The meaning just changes everything for you? Or do you actually like Holden? Do you, do you really, do you, do you? I'm not judging you if you do, but do you really? I, I, uh, I can't, I could, uh, I was just gonna say maybe I should reread it, but I can't. I don't want to. You're hanging out of the library. All of a sudden, global warming explodes! So the loudspeaker in the library is like, global warming has just exploded! You must stay inside! You must burn whatever you can to stay alive! Because the global warming, is it's cold in there now! I don't know! What book are you gonna run to burn first? What book are you not gonna be sorry to see gone from the world? I'll be running straight to the Allison Noel section, and I'll be running straight to that Immortal series. What is there, like seven books I could just set on fire? I actually, I have a video explaining why I hate these, but I privated it because of a reason. The first one's okay, and it tricks you into thinking that the rest are gonna be like fun to read too. But then you read the second one and then something happens at the end and it's like, that's annoying. Then the annoying thing just drags on for the next million books. When you will talk about karma and energy and light flowing through you for 
chapters at a time! If I had a match right now and a garbage can, I would seriously drop this in and set it on fire. That series wasted a lot of my life. Okay, I read five of those six books. And last scenario, I made this one up myself. It's not as good as Ariel's, but I wanted to make one up, so I did. So you are backstage. Backstage before your stand-up routine. You're waiting for it to be your turn to go, right? And with you, all you've got is your favorite series just lined up next to you. Because when you go for your stand-up routine, you need all your favorite series backstage just in case you get nervous. You just gotta like chillax, take a series that you love, and you know, read some pages, right? That's what you do. You're chewing this gum. You've been chewing this gum for hours. It sucks. It's disgusting. There's no garbage cans around. What are you gonna do with it? You can't go on stage with gum. You have to pick one of these books and you have to rip the last page and spit your gum in it. Your favorite series is is. So, one of your favorite series, the last page of that book is gonna go. What last page do you hate? What ending do you not want to read again? I think my choice is a little, uh, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. Requiem! Now, it's not that I hate this book. Obviously, it's part of one of my favorite series, the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. Fantastic series. But this book <laughs> is the last book and <laughs> the end was not an end. And then I'm like, oh, well, we've got the television series and we're gonna get resolution. There's so much hype on the internet. Emma Roberts is casted. A pilot is shot. Ship it off to Fox. Pick up the pilot. Pick up the pilot. Fox does not pick up Delirium. Lauren Oliver wanted the end to be open so we can use our imaginations. If I wanted to use my imagination to figure out how this ended, I wouldn't have read the book. Is, is my word canon now? Am I Lauren Oliver at the end of the book? Am I? Um, so. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. It's just an ad. <laughs> but if I had to, if I had to. Favorite series, last page, this one. Anyway, I hope you had fun ranting with me. I welcome you to do the tag. Go watch Ariel's video because it's fantastic. She's fantastic. I'm Christine. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! I am soon going to be making a new installment of the book lover Q&A videos and I will be asking for questions on my Facebook page and that is facebook.com slash CMR productions with a Z at the end instead of an S because I thought Z's were cool back when I made it in 2009. So if you want to be informed about that and you want to be able to ask questions you can go like the page cool beans. Again, I'm sorry if I insulted your favorite book <laughs> because you're allowed to hate books that I like. I'm allowed to hate books that you like. We're all allowed to have opinions.